interpretation, there's an R in there, of R. So the first interpretation is simply an index. In other words, it goes between, like I pointed out, minus 1 to plus 1. The closer it is to plus, now, what if x and y are perfectly related, the dots are exactly along, along a straight line. So you can't get a better relationship than that. Then the correlation turns out to be positive 1. If the dots are exactly along a line with a negative slope, then the correlation is minus 1. The other extreme is in the middle. If the correlation has no relationship at all, here the correlation will be 0. Here the correlation will be positive 1. Here the correlation will be minus 1. That's worth getting down. So in our case, the correlation looks like it's, it's pretty high. It's 0.83. It's pretty close to 1. And therefore, one might if you only had this interpretation by itself, you might jump to the conclusion that what? Are x and y related or x and y not related? Since it's very high, since it's almost 1, it's pretty far from 0, you might think that the correlation uh, are related, the x and y are related. But what do we know about this whole example that we did the other day? Are x and y related or not related? What? No, go back to your notes from the end of the last lecture, I think we did it last time, where we did, we did this formula, whatever, we did this formula applied to the same four pairs of numbers, and what do we get? We get R is, the T, the T calculation I recall last time was 2.12, 2 and the, the number over here came out to 4.3, and the answer we came up with is, in the middle here, x and y are not related. So that seems to be a contradiction. It's a contradiction because it's a, um, here at the rule of, to the point, the, 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 way, the reason why the contradiction, or the way to resolve the paradox, that on the one hand it looks like x and y are related because it's close to 1, on the other hand by using this other more exact methodology it turns out x and y are not related, the way we're going to resolve it is by pointing out that first of all, we only have four pairs of numbers here. And with four pairs of numbers, this rule of thumb, that the closer it is to one, doesn't really work. It only work when you have like 20, 30 numbers. With four pairs of numbers, you can have a high number and still not be related. So that's one important thing to keep in mind. Yes? I was going to say, even though it's inversely related, it's still very related, right? Exactly. In other words, you get a, co a correlation of 0.83 and a correlation of minus 83 are exactly the same correlation. It's really how far it is from zero. That's a good point. I owe you something for that. OK, so I think we're out of time already. So let me just sort of summarize what we have so far. Um, in fact, you know what, I'll just teach you one last formula in the remaining minus 15 seconds, um, which is the second way of interpreting the correlation is calculating the R squared. Now the R squared happens to be a six point formula on the test, but it's the easiest formula of the entire term. You simply do R times R. So it's gonna be 83 squared. How much is 83 squared? 0.83, in this case, I'm actually applying it to the current numbers. 83 times 83 is, is point what? 69. And that you change into a percentage, 69%. So, so, what my, so the homework for next time is, Brian, you can close off the computer already. Uh, 